Welcome to week six of English composition. By now, you should have used many sources in your research paper. So this week, you'll learn about how to cite those sources properly in APA style, version seven. That's the style that's used in City Vision University and the addiction counseling and um, ministry courses. We'll also talk about uh, more informal citations uh, that are used in forum posts at City Vision and in some of the business and nonprofit management courses. We'll go over the basic rules of citation and also demonstrate a range of tools, both software and web based, that you can use to make citations more easy. Remember, even though doing citations is fairly tedious, citations are useful because they can help others locate the original sources that you reference in whatever you write. Also, citations are necessary in order to avoid plagiarism when you're using the work of others. And this week, we'll also be talking about style. We'll be talking about how to make your writing more memorable, how to make it more powerful. Style involves many things, but here we'll be focusing on a few key elements like conciseness, flow of writing, and sentence variety, and the use of vivid language. Make sure uh, to read and the skill builder section, the reference sections of our textbook. Our textbooks, as you know, is the elements of style and the authors are masters of English style, particularly E.B. White, who's best known for children's stories like Charlotte's Web. Obviously, Strunk and White's advice is not all you could say about English usage and style, but it's a great starting point. Their rule, omit needless words, is a great example of their principles. There are three assignments this week. Um, there's a quiz covering City Vision's writing standards and citation format, um, how to do both the intakes in text citations for APA and also how to do citations in the references list at the end of a paper. Um, there's also an assignment in writing, uh, revising a narrative essay. Um, the, one that you're starting with is called Snow Day, and it's very basic, and you're going to be working to improve its style by adding more sense variation and using other techniques like you'll see in this week's readings. Also, um, you'll be submitting a full list of the sources that you're going to be using in your paper, and you'll be doing that in the APA um, citation format that we cover in this week.